good morning students how are you all hope you all are fine and doing well myself alok your math teacher and i would like to welcome you in this math class today is the first day of the class okay and in today's class we are going to learn about the different parts of the circle okay already in your previous class you have learned about the definition of the circle and then you have learned like some parts like radius diameter circumference chord okay and uh, some more parts like uh, you have learned that uh, secant of the circle and segment of the circle this all the parts already you have learned in previous class in today's class we are going to complete the remaining that uh, we are going to understand the remaining parts of the circle like uh, semi circle arc then sector of the circle and concentric circles these remaining parts today we are going to discuss okay so let's start today's class so at first we are going to understand what is a semi circle so by the name only you can understand semi semi circle means half circle so what is happening that diameter here diameter it is ab in this figure you can see that here ab is the diameter in the circle so the end point of the diameter it is dividing the circle into two parts and each part is known as the semi circle so here you can see here the end points of the diameter of a circle divide the circle into two equal parts each part is called a semi circle like if you see here i am explaining here you are seeing here that end point of the that this is the diameter here this is the end point a and this is the end point b okay so what is happening this part a a x b from here to here this part okay this part it is the semi circle and the remaining part this is also a semi circle like by different color i am showing you wait a minute this is also remaining part it is also a semi circle okay so it means the end point of the diameter divides the circle into two equal parts and each part is known as semi circle means half circle easily you can understand so this is the semi circle and now what is happening i am erasing this <coughs> now what is happening that ab ab is the diameter and diameter it is dividing the area of the circle also into two equal parts like suppose that if you see this circle in this circle ab it is this ab ab divides the area of the circle also into two equal parts okay and this equal part is known as the semi circular region okay like see if you are seeing that yellow part completely this yellow part it is the one semi circular region and down side part also it is the second semi circular region okay so here i am writing like this this region suppose i am setting down side this region is known as semi circular region semi circular region semi circular Wait, erasing this. Now, this region is known as the semi-circular region. So you can understand here semi-circular region S E M I, semi-circular C I R C U. L A R semi circular region R E G I O N region okay semi circular region hope you have understood now the next part of the circle is the which we are going to understand wait is arc arc of the circle so what is the arc it is very easy to understand arc what is arc arc is the part of circle any part of the circle is known as the arc you can see here 
any part of a circle is called an arc of the circle okay any part of a circle is called the arc of a circle you can see in this uh, figure here this uh, ab from here to here ab red part it is showing it is an arc from here to here it is an arc because it is the part of the circle so it is an arc okay so arc of the circle means any part of the circle is known as the arc of the circle now the next one it is that major arc and minor arc what is the major arc and minor arc second figure below the first figure second figure it is showing some part it is uh, with the pink color and some part it is showing with the blue color so the pink part it is major arc so what is the definition of major arc it is given if the arc is greater than a semi circle just now i have explained if the arc is greater than the half circle if more than half is there you are seeing that you are seeing that pink part from here to here wait you can see from the pink part from here to here it is more than the half circle okay so it is known as the major arc okay and if it is less then it is called the minor arc if the arc is less than the semi circle it is called the minor arc the remaining part like from a ab from here to here wait the remaining part from here to here let me change the color means from this part this part is the minor arc okay and this remaining part it is the major arc so easily you can understand major arc and minor arc now the next thing is that how we are representing the arc arc is represented by like suppose here ab is there ab is the minor arc so ab you can write here ab and upside like this symbol so this is the representation of an arc so by easily you can read by this symbol ab upside like this is this symbol it is known as the symbol of arc ab arc and the like suppose the remaining part it is a c b a c b and upside like this so this is the which part this is the major arc a c b is the major arc and ab is the minor arc okay so this is the representation of an arc now already you have understood the arc what is an arc? what is arc what is arc okay now the next part of the circle which i am going to explain is the sector of the circle so please start to understand what is the sector of the circle that area bounded by two radii what is the radii that it is the plural of radius more than one radius it is known as radii so the area bounded by two radii of the circle and their connecting arc is called a sector okay so if if you see in this figure if you this see in this figure this a o a from o to a it is one radius okay and o b is the another radius two radius are there it means two radii and their connecting arc what is the connecting arc a b is the connecting arc from here to here and this area is known as the sector okay so i'm setting here sector what is the sector this is the sector which is shaded part okay this is the sector of the circle okay so in a in the sector also there are two types of sector that major sector and minor sector so what is major sector and what is minor sector so for that you need to understand what is the major sector so that uh, uh, the sector which contains okay the sector which contains major arc it is known as the major sector like if you see here the remaining part here this from here to here it is the major arc and second this part like suppose wait i am erasing this if you think about this circle okay okay so what will happen wait like this part if i separate here it will look like like this this is one sector 
Now another sector will look like this. Okay, so you are seeing here. So this sector, this sector is which sector? It is the minor sector. You are seeing that here arc is a small. Here arc is minor arc. So because of that, it is called the minor sector, and this is the major sector. So easily you can understand minor sector and major sector. So if the sector is formed by a major arc, you are seeing that this one part it is formed by major arc. Okay, from here to here. A B it is major arc and this sector it is formed by the the major arc so it is known as the major sector and the minor sector what is the minor sector minor sector it contains the minor arc okay wait let me erase this all then I am shading this part I am shading like this this part you are seeing that this is the minor arc and by another color I am shading the remaining part. Okay, the green part I am setting. Okay, this is the major sector. Major sector. This part is major sector, and this red part it is minor sector. Okay. So by the name also you can write how you will name the sector. For naming the sector, what you need to do like like O A B, O A B. O A B from starting O A B it is the minor sector and what is the major sector for major sector like think that here a point X is there point X is that so it will be O A X B O A X B is the major and O A B is the minor okay hope you have understood everyone now sector already i have explained you now the next part which i am going to explain it is the concentric circle by the name only you can understand concentric circles two or more than two circles minimum there should be two circles two or more than two circles having same center okay like two or more circles with the same center are called concentric circles if you see in the figure O is the center and how many circles are there? 1, 2 and 3. 3 circles are here formed by the same center. Center is O only. Here for all the circles, all 3 circles, O is the center only. Okay, so 2 or more than 2 circles with the same center is known as the concentric circles. If you Here you can see that R1, R2 and R3. Okay, from here it is R1, R2 and R3 it is mentioned. So radius are different, first circle radius is R1, second circle radius is R2 and third circle radius is R3. So concentric circles have you understood everyone? Hope you have understood. The next, it is the tangent. It is not in your book, so but you can understand the concept of tangent. So what is tangent? So usually you can understand here, a tangent is a line in a plane of a circle that intersects the circle in exactly one point only already means in previous class you have learned about the code and secant what is the code code means it is line segment which is joining the circle on two different point like suppose i am like here you can see here suppose i am joining from here to here it is the code okay and what is the secant Secant means like suppose a line which is intersecting the circle at two different points. It should be a line. It is line which is intersecting circle on two different points. Then it is known as the secant. And here ten, tangent. What is tangent? So tangent is also line. And like secant it was intersecting at two different points. But the tangent it is a line. Okay. And which is intersecting the circle only and only one point. You are saying that here J on the point J this line is intersecting. Okay, on this point. Okay, so on J point. So this is the tangent of this circle. So you will learn in higher class nicely. So for today only you understand this much only. 
okay now already we have discussed all the parts of the circle but here now i am going to explain you some difference means minor difference actually these are the similar parts so students get confused so because of that i have taken here that some major difference what is the major difference between segment and sector means actually what is happening people get confused sometimes segment and sector so what is the segment in segment what is happening that area enclosed by a cord and the earth cord and the earth in segment you can see here in this figure wait wait sorry you can see in this figure that it is the segment here minor segment and major segment is that you are seeing that this is the cord okay area enclosed by a cord and and the earth it is known as the segment and but in sector what is happening area enclosed by two radii and they are connecting earth you are seeing that here area enclosed by two radii here two radii is there and their arc is there and this side also you can see two radii are there and their arc is there so this is a sector and segment easily you can differentiate now think when that cord becomes a diameter if the area is enclosed by the diameter and the arc that time sector and segment both becomes equal now you can understand nicely here see here so now see here this circle it is enclosed by a diameter and their arc so diameter you are knowing that diameter diameter is having two radius this is one radius this side and another radius this side so two radius and their arc so what it will called it will call sector and diameter also it is called cord so it is cord and it is that uh, arc so it will also called the segment so when that diameter that area enclosed by diameter and arc then sector and segment both becomes equal okay so this is the major difference between sector and segment now some more difference i have i have to explain you like diameter cord and secant tangent i have not taken but it is not in your class so these three are in your class because of that here major difference what is the major difference diameter diameter is a line segment which is touching okay which is intersecting on the circle at two different point and what is the and cord is also touches two points on the circle and diameter also touches two points on the circle so what is difference between cord and the diameter difference between cord and diameter is that the diameter it is passing through the center this is the important you can understand <coughs> okay diameter it is passing through the center see it touches two points on the circle plus passes through the center so it means every diameter is a cord you can consider that all the diameters are cord but all the cords are not diameter okay and simply you can understand cord cord it is line segment which is touching at two different points on the circle it can be in any manner like here see so many cords are shown but only one cord can become that diameter okay so diameter it is cord which is passing through the center of the circle so this difference you clear now secant line which cuts the circle at two different points or the line which intersect the circle at two different point then it is known as the secant so if a diameter or cord extends outside the circle then it is a secant like any if diameter whether it is diameter or the cord if it is extend outside of the circle okay then it will called secant okay it means diameter and cord when you extend both the sides if you put the arrow outside the circle then it will called the secant so these are the major difference between diameter cord and the secant hope you have understood all the things now our class it is going to 
कम एट द एंड ना टूडेज होमवर्क वॉट एवर टॉपिक्स टूडे आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू हैव टू राइट इन योर कॉपी एंड ट्राई टू लर्न ऑल द डेफिनेशन वेरी नाइसली बिकॉज दीज आर द बेसिक थिंग्स ओके एंड ऑन इफ यू लर्न दिस बेसिक थिंग्स सो इन नेक्स्ट क्लास यू विल नॉट हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम ओके सो फर्स्ट होमवर्क टूडे इज दैट राइट एंड लर्न द डेफिनेशंस ओके गिवन ऑन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड सिक्स एंड टू हंड्रेड सेवन इन आर एस अग्रवाल बुक ओके सो ऑल द डेफिनेशंस यू विल राइट ऑन योर इन योर कॉपी एंड ट्राई टू लर्न एंड द नेक्स्ट होमवर्क इट इज दैट सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू थ्री एंड फाइव ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज एटीन फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज एटीन वन टू थ्री एंड फाइव यू विल सॉल्व इन योर कॉपी एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर सिक्स एंड सेवन You will solve in book only of exercise eighteen. So this is homework, and uh, like question number one, two, three, and five, it will be explained in the class also. When it will be taught in the class, that time also, if you are having problems, so that time it will be explained. So this is homework. Thank you, students.